Today, I made my first doctor's appointment. I'm in this for the long haul now, so I want to do everything right for my baby. I'm really excited to be a mom. I know it's not going to be easy, but knowing that a little life is growing inside of me has me in awe. No matter what the struggles may be, I know it will be worth it for my baby. They told me you were a girl last week at my ultrasound. I could feel your little feet kicking and see your beautiful face. Last week, your daddy passed away. I am so sad, but no, you will never feel a hole because you have so many people who love you already and you're not even born. My dearest Ruby, I am so afraid of losing you, my sweet, beautiful little girl. All that I want, all that I've ever wanted is the best for you. Ever since I found out I was pregnant, I've tried to do everything right in this pregnancy so that you could be healthy. Dear Ruby, I am so sad that the doctors tell me you are sick. My heart breaks imagining you in pain. I didn't want to bring you into this world for it to be painful. I want to fill it with love and happiness. My dearest little Ruby, this may very well be the last time I write to you while you are still living inside of me. The doctors decided today that it would be best for you to be born soon so they can take care of you. I am scared to death of having you so early, but I have to trust that the doctors know best and that God is watching out for you. I wish that I could make the world perfect for you and take away any pain you'll ever feel or any tear you'll ever cry. I know that I can't do this for you. All of the struggles you will face in your life will only make you stronger and more beautiful inside. I'm just gonna score her five minute after it. We'll wrap her, wrap her up, bring her over, uh -huh. and you can hold her really quick, and then we'll take her over to the NICU. My dear Ruby Lynn, we have been through so much the past few days, haven't we? You have proven time and again how strong and brave you are, and you have completely made me fall in love with you. My sweet darling baby, I would give up my life to have you live, my eyes to have you see. I do anything for you. You are an angel sent from heaven straight into my arms. You make believers out of everyone who glances in your direction. This just she's a miracle. She is just a miracle for all that this mom and this baby have been through. We'll translate that to pounds and ounces for you. Thank you. Um, I can look at your sheets. Let me talk to you for a minute. Diaper, you gotta get used to diapers. Yeah. There's Ruby sleeping. It's about uh, 6.30 on her first day. She's all relaxed. She's laying on her beach blanket. I'm gonna try and get a better view of her. Isn't she just adorable? She's just sleeping away. Beautiful. She's beautiful. Mommy's got her head in your beddy. She's kissing her girl. You are so sweet. Day two. There's Ruby sleeping. She's quietly sleeping. You're so peaceful. Dear Ruby. Sometimes I can't believe that you came for me. You are such a sweet angel and I am so proud that you are my baby. I miss you so much at night when I can't be with you. I know all of the nice doctors and nurses are taking good care of you, but I wish I was there by your side or holding you in my arms. I hope you always know how much I love you. Hi, y'all. Say hello. Hello. You actually made the tape. <laughs> this is Grandma's face. This is what it all looks like. Not just this much. <laughs> and you're in here too. We are just two of the most gorgeous women in this whole place. This is Ruby. She's wide awake. <laughs> well, kind of. She's doing an awful lot of yawning. And she's got the hiccups today. Grandma and Mandy are here. And of course, Mom birthday, her golden birthday, and she's holding Ruby. 
Ruby is wide birthday. awake. Just for my birthday. Just for me and you's birthday. Oh, All sorts of cute yarns and stuff. Just be in the stinker, you're sleeping. You're just out like a light bulb. Mm -hmm. Just because she was wide awake for a while. You tied yourself up for being so awake earlier. She has to be awake for like 10 mind. minutes, really. Yeah. Today is January 7, 2005, and it's Ruby's first day home. She's all sleepy. She's in her car seat, she, and she likes it in there, it's like a little bassinet. She's so happy, and so am I, I'm so glad she's home. Ruby Lynn, just when I didn't think I could love you anymore, my heart finds a little space to fill up with more love. My sweet little angel, you are now nine months old and just as wonderful as ever. We have so much fun together. Your smile truly lights up the room. You are getting bigger every day and sweeter by the minute. Everyone comments on what a happy and content baby you are. They are so right. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Woo! There you go, yay! <laughs> oh, I'd like an encore, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Santa bring you. <laughs> Good and start walking. Start walking. Good job, Ruby. Is that the song you're singing? <laughs> That's a squeaky door. Dear Ruby, tonight on the eve of your 10th birthday, I am overcome with emotion and love for you. I am in awe that we've made it 10 years, that so much has changed, and we've witnessed so many miracles. When you were first born, I never imagined you'd come so far. I only knew that hope and love was all I had. People have asked me how I do it, and all I can say is that you made it easy with your sweet and generous smiles your amazing giggles, and the sweetest face I have ever laid eyes on. Ruby, what's your favorite animal? A dog. Where does Queen Elsa live? In the castle. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about Stella? Her paws are wet. When they get wet? <laughs> when they rain. Oh. <laughs> Go wash it off. Gotta reach down lower.
Rube, everybody can see us. We have to tell them what we're about to do. <gasps> Wait, did I just call you Rube? Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm such a prankster! Yes! This is the Muppet's office! No, it's coming! Look how you follow the things. <sighs> there you go. What color is that one? Blue. Huh? Pink. And what else? Green. Yeah, so what do you think this one is? Green beans. <laughs> <laughs> Green beans! <laughs> Fifteen-year-old in here. Is it, are you fifteen? <gasps> Happy birthday, pretty girl! And Dave has some playlists going for you. How old are you today? Fifteen. Oh my gosh! Do you feel old? <laughs> no. <laughs> do you feel young? No. What do you feel like? Oh, you're so pretty. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Ruby. Yeah. Dear Ruby, I can't believe you are turning 15 today. Where has the time gone? I feel like you were just my little baby. As I write these words, I have tears in my eyes. They are tears of happiness, gratitude, and pride for the beautiful young woman you are becoming. You have not only surpassed every single prediction doctors made about you, you have also inspired millions of people around the world with your courage, strength, and spirit. I will never understand how I got so lucky to be chosen as your mama, but I'm pretty sure God knew that I needed you just as much as you needed me. Sweet Ruby girl, you are the biggest blessing not only to me, but to our entire family. You have shown all of us the power of love, hope, and faith. We are all better people because of you. Today and every day, I hope you know that you are my world and I would do anything for you. I love you so much. Always and forever, Mama. <laughs>